We are in the southeastern portion of the Allegheny Forest. Uh, we're still in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a rather large state, and we feel it feels like we've been here for probably not as many days as it feels like. Um, but we got into this camp spot last night, and it's a well-used spot, uh, not far off the road. I mean, the road is right there, but there is a stone fire ring. A little trash in here, but seem to be that that's what we're finding everywhere we go, especially on these public lands. Um, but other than that, had a pretty good night's sleep last night. It rained through the night, uh, but the rain was pretty soothing coming down uh, on the top of the tent. We did meet up with uh, one of our subscribers this past week, uh, Henry the Great. Hey Henry, I want to say uh, thanks for tracking us down. Henry was actually pulled over eating lunch in his car, saw us go by, and pulled out into traffic and kind of followed us about a mile or so until we pulled over and he pulled up and said hey i follow you guys i knew that truck i recognized it and so we were very very excited to meet henry it was great to meet him as well uh, so uh, today we just kind of slept in a little bit caught up on some extra sleep for after pushing so hard and hung around the camp uh, straightened out the inside of the truck a little bit, not much. Uh, outside of the truck's still pretty dirty. These uh, clay and mud roads, uh, they wreak havoc on a black truck. Uh, but tomorrow our plan is to head toward New York and see how far across there we can get and try to find us somewhere to lay their heads for the night. Good as any for the night. You just gonna drive across the grass, you reckon? Mm-hmm, I think so. It will explode. And, poof, and I can't. That would have been great on camera. Yeah, I'm sorry. It is about nine o'clock and we are in the Sugar Hill. It's really nine o'clock. Yeah, it's almost nine o'clock. 
It is almost 9 p.m. See, you should have left that. It is almost 9 p.m. We are in the Sugar Hill <laughs> Fire Tower Recreation Area uh, near Watkins Glen, New York. Uh, we have been here for a couple of days, and this is a super nice, free, primitive, primitive campground. But don't tell anybody. Yeah, give it a secret. Um, it's also a horse camp. So there's some stalls here. Several horses have been in and out throughout the past couple of days. Beautiful animals, of course. Sally's a horse nut. Um, but the, the grounds themselves are very nice. There are bathrooms here, no showers. Uh, but the grounds themselves are maintained pretty well. There's grass. We're on a hill that's grass covered. It's awesome. We're not walking in mud like we did the past couple of nights uh, before we got here. The we gentleman have, who does the groundskeeping keeps it. I mean, I mean he's, he's the man. very manicured. He's the grounds man. He does clean. Good job. Bathrooms are very clean. We uh, little trash in the campfires. Right. Great. What you'd like to see, really? Uh, we met a nice gentleman traveling, and we spent the past couple of days kind of swapping ideas with him on thoughts of overlanding and traveling and living out of a vehicle and whatnot. So. Tomorrow our plan is to move on about 100 miles to the east, more toward Vermont. So we're going to try to get a good night's sleep tonight. Uh, hopefully there will be some fireworks because it is July 4th. So happy birthday, America, and we will catch up with you next time. Right now we're headed east toward Rochester, Vermont. Sally's got a cousin uh, that's near there and reached out to those folks and they had a little conversation last night. So we're headed over there to meet up with them, maybe have a lunch and catch up some. And then we are undecided where we're going. If we're still coming back in the Green Mountain Forest area or if we're gonna move toward the edge of New Hampshire. Uh, so we'll just have to see how the rest of the day unfolds.